So this suggestion of ChatGPT is very helpful. It is helping us figure out that indeed the client is interested in seeing if one string is lexicographically between B and D and also if this um, comparison is inclusive of the endpoints or exclusive. If you have tried out what I asked you to do, you would have found out that the client is interested in excluding both the endpoints. The given strings A and B should not be included. We want substrings that are strictly between A and B. We do not want to include the endpoints A and B. So this was a good suggestion. Here is one way you can tell it's a good suggestion. Let us again copy paste this um, example where we want the other strings to be B and D and let us go to this other link. This is where we're going to try and write our doc tests and we will see that if we write good quality doc tests we will see our thoroughness improve. We have seen this already with one example. Let us try this here. So firstly let me just run uh, this uh, code check with the given example and as we can see our validity is only 50%. We know why that is. We have an incomplete uh, doc test here. But our thoroughness is currently 0%. Let's take the example that has been suggested. So count between with the suggested string A, B, C, D, E. Of course, I have to put that within quotes. And then the client had suggested with B and D. And now that we know what the expected answer is, we can just put that here. We don't have to worry about uh, validity because the client has already told us that on this input, uh, she wants the answer to be 6. Now we click on code check and we observe that our validity is 100%. And our thoroughness has gone up to 37%. So this chat GPT suggestion was a good one. And like this, we can continue to observe all the other suggestions chat GPT is making. So it is suggesting, what about substring matches? What if uh, the uh, lower bound and the upper bound were the same? Well, now we know that we are interested in substrings strictly between uh, the given string A and the given string B. So if those are the same string, there is nothing strictly in between. Remember, ChatGPT was making this suggestion without getting any feedback about the earlier suggestion it had made. So in this case, it turns out this suggestion is not going to be a good one. Let me show you. Let's try this, copy paste this. And go back here and let us try and add this as an additional doc test. And here we know the expected answer is zero. If you're not sure about this, you can check it over here. Let's just try that for completeness. So we want the string all A's and we want this to be A and we want this to be A. And the client will tell us that in this case, they're expecting the answer zero. So this is a valid doc test. And let us see if this additional doc test can improve our thoroughness. You notice the thoroughness stays at 37%. This additional doc test has not given us any extra information. It could have given us extra information if we were willing to include the endpoints A and B. Since we have already figured out that we are excluding those endpoints, this particular suggestion of ChatGPT uh, did not help. But again, I want to give ChatGPT credit for thinking about this uh, example because it could have mattered. ChatGPT didn't have that information when it made the suggestion, but it was a good suggestion. So let us continue. It says, what if there are no valid strings? It wants to check if the function will return zero gracefully. It's trying to check if the function's behavior is robust to these kinds of tricky inputs. So it's asking us to ask our client if the behavior should be uh, a reasonable one like returning zero. Again, a good suggestion.